um, very quick instruction video on um, the oxygen sensor for this is a 2009 Ford Fiesta I've done some other videos on this car before um, I couldn't find a video where I was showing how to get this oxygen sensor from out of here this is the one with the shroud read on a forum that if you get one of these, it's a laser tools uh, Ford extended 22 mil socket um, that does reach down. Um, the difficulty I had though was the, the, the sensor was very well stuck into the car. So the tools that I used in order to get it out were a Dremel with one of these extending anaconda pieces, whatever you want to call it, and a grinding disc. You're probably going to need a couple of them. And also I've got a, a normal angle grinder. And I took the shroud off in order just to get the angle grinder in here on its side. Anyway, there you go, I spread a picture. Right, um, as you can see, what I ended up doing was putting the cable to the the old sensor and I used a pair of grips these and I put a couple of slices well, not a couple I really made a mess of the of the shroud part um, anyway I literally then just grabbed hold of that and wrestled that out while the probe lambda sensor was still there uh, in place and then ground chunks off the top of it now it has got a ceramic core so i used the dremel and the angle grinder combination to cut around and then literally tear the top of it off break the core down and i kept grinding 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 down to reveal that that way then a normal 22 mil socket would fit over and even though i've got an impact gun I couldn't get the impact gun in here to give it any useful, like it just, just was of no use. Anyway, um, so what I did do was used a normal 22 mil socket in order to ultimately work the, uh, the O2 sensor, the Lambda Pro, what you want to call it, loose. Um, I did use some of this releasing agent plus gas, kept dousing it in that. And also, I got one of these, but it's as, it was of no use on this vehicle because these parts wouldn't fit down. You have to use one of them. But these just aren't strong enough in order to get the probe out in the first place. The legs, I think they just bend apart slightly. And as you can see, there's marks on the inside side where it's just slipped. Um, anyway, there was no video out there on what to do, so I've made this, I know it doesn't show what I've had to do, it's just because I've done a lot of wrestling, manipulation. Um, it took about, I think it took an hour to get it out. Uh, I'm just about to use some copper grease to put around the new probe. Um, anyway, and I'll put that back in in a second and I'll use a four scan on the computer um, to reset the, uh, the engine management warning light that's come up on the dash. There's the probe that I'm going to put in. Hopefully it'll be okay. Um, and there you can see the code. I got this one off eBay. It's about 30 quid-ish. Um, so I say a bit of a nightmare of a job wrestling, quite difficult access, but I'm hoping that uh, once it's in, it'll be working hunky-dory. Um, I do hope you find this video of some use should you uh, give this job a go yourself. Like I say, I couldn't find a video of these particular types um, of probes, getting them out, lambda sensors, whatever. There's just a quick overview of the uh, various bits and pieces that I've had on this job. Anyway, best of luck. Um, as usual, if you make a comment, if you need any advice, I'll try my best to help get back to you. Thank you.